But one in six people now call immigration the most pressing problem facing the U.S. That's according to a new Gallup poll. Tens of thousands of undocumented children remain in limbo at the U.S. border. Meanwhile, some Democrats are working together to try and create shortcuts around the immigration court system to alleviate the backlog. Undocumented families held a rally at the White House earlier this evening. Rachel Scher was also there. She's live in the newsroom with more. Rachel? Hey, Morris, this rally came at the same time as the president's meeting with members of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, where they were discussing immigration reform. The families at today's rally want any type of reform to allow parents to stay in the U.S. with their children, whether they're citizens or not. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. They chant a rallying cry that's growing louder across the nation and here outside the White House. Señor Presidente. Mr. President, I plead to you to open your heart and think as a parent. I have six kids. I don't know what I would do with myself if I were forced to live without them. She's just one of dozens of undocumented parents partnering with Casa de Maryland to give a voice and put a face on immigration reform. There are neighbors, our friends, our co-workers. We're saying, Mr. President, me too. Our families deserve protection. People like Ruth Diaz, who lives in a constant state of limbo. She wakes up every morning wondering if this is the day she'll be deported and where that will leave her five-year-old son. So I'm very worried of what would happen because he's a U.S. citizen and he should be here, um, but we don't, ha he doesn't have any more family and, you know, he, I worry about what would happen to him in El Salvador. These are people who are working hard every day, uh, who have beautiful families. Many of their children are U.S. citizens, and we believe that they deserve administrative relief. Until then, they'll continue coming forward, their voices growing louder. <laughs> hoping to be the force of change. We all deserve to live here with dignity, together. Casa de Maryland is planning yet another rally next week. They say that one will be even larger and include spiritual and religious congregations. No time or place has been announced, though. Morris.